Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen. And I'm Tracy from Results with Tracy. And welcome to Parrot Chop Chef. And by the way, for those of you new here, this is Brando. This is Leo. Here's how this show works. Yes, we are creating healthy food for your birds, also known as chop. Chop is a bunch of chopped up ingredients, primarily greens and then vegetables, then some fruit, about 20% fruit at most, and then you add your herbs and you have chop for your parrot. But for those of you who are like, wow, I gotta make chop every day and I also gotta make my meal or my family's meal, we're showing you how to turn your parrot chop into a healthy meal for yourself as well. So stay tuned to the end to find out what we do with this amazing shop. We've done a lot of really cool things. So go back and watch some previous episodes. So don't think this is a cooking show just for the parrots, although our primary goal is for your birds to eat healthy. We also wanna get you eating healthy too, and that's where Tracy comes in. Brando's eating my mole. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try to get Brando to Brando. eat uh, chop instead of moles. <laughs> moly, oh moly, moly. Oh my god, I know. <laughs> no, no, no. So today, in our strawberry spinach salad, we have strawberries and raspberries. Ooh. This is actually more than just spinach. This is spinach, Ooh. arugula, and kale. Okay, where's the Oh, kale? sorry, no, no, no. I don't see the kale, I think we ate no, it last it's... night and that's why there's no it, kale. Uh, bok choy, no, bok choy. Why didn't you tell me? Kiwi, Kiwi. this two kiwis to be exact. Almonds with basil and mint and celery. Mmm, okay, this is, I'm excited about the raspberry. Okay. But, um, okay, I'm a picky eater, so like mixing stuff is a little weird for me, but I'm excited to see. Oh, I'm excited to see what we're gonna turn it into at the end. That's my favorite part. Yeah. This is one of those meals that will have some fruit in it for your birds, but most of the other ones were strong in the veggies. This looks like it's strong in the dark greens, which I love. The leafy greens are great for your parrots. Chop the spinach. Wow, you chopped the spinach so fast. We lost all the birds. Now we have celery wheels here. I'm gonna chop them into little pieces and I'm gonna chop them into finer pieces. Celery is really great for birds. Just chopping it all over it's the It's for the one that's gonna probably wander over. That's gonna be Merlin. At least he has something when he tries to get in the snack closet. He won't eat any snacks. He'll eat it right for the celery. Put that oh, in. Oh, yes, what are these? Almonds, basil, mint. For those of you just joining in, <laughs> the counter is messy because we have removed everything from this side of the premises to, you know, make a set. So ignore, but enjoy Merlin flying in. Here are the almonds and basil and mint. I think when you add these herbs that you're choosing to add, like the basil and the mint, I think that's what's giving it that like super healthy taste. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really fresh. It's got like a very fresh vibe. I feel like I'm in Costa Rica, you know? Yeah. So the mint is always nice with fruit. Fruit and mint together just is like so good. Here we have two kiwis. <laughs> two kiwis. Now strawberries are one of those things that you have to wash really well. Did you wash it really well? Yes, I washed them individually and then I put them all together and washed them together in the strainer. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I knew you would say something like that. I think I should help you chop this. No, please, please, no, no, no. <laughs> Because you are hitting your nails. They blend into the strawberries. What do you think, I'm gonna chop off my nail? You have to protect your fingers. Oh, no, that's too much. Because my hand touching like that silver part, it kind of hurts. Yeah, I'm just mixing. Thank you. <laughs> I'm mixing. This is literally, uh, the birds are gonna love it. Is that it? This is it? That's it. It's done? It's, it's ready. This is our spinach strawberry salad. Yeah. Alright, what are we gonna turn it into, Tracy? Because I'm dying to know. Smoothie. Stop. Yeah. A smoothie with 
vanilla oat milk. I mean, you could turn it into a smoothie also with almond milk, oh. coconut milk, water. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What about orange juice? No. Okay, we're gonna do it with uh, what we have here, which is oat milk. Okay, so this is still a plant-based vegan uh, option for us. Yeah, she's should we, vegan. Should we get George to operate the blender? George! <laughs> yeah, we need you to operate the blender, and hopefully you're not wearing a savant shirt, but whatever. Oh, wow. Savant! Sporting our merch, George? <laughs> not. Okay, George, so we need the blender because this is, George has went to a garage sale one day and came home with a commercial grade blender. Um, you do need a commercial grade blender for a, a commercial grade type of uh, show? show. Oh, well, wow, Tracy, covering it. Can I have some? You mean before we blend it? Yeah, yeah. Some it looks like a, it looks no, like yeah. a fruit. It is, and it's a great fruit salad, George, but you missed your opportunity, unfortunately. You didn't actually give me the opportunity. I know, we're on a cooking show. Get Stop some, making so much noise. Get some salad. We're on a cooking show Can here. Can I have George. a taste of it at least? Yeah, go ahead. That's Merlin's. Merlin's gonna come over. This looks amazing. It is. I don't want to cover the ingredients with the milk. You can always add more, but you can't take away. Okay. So I filled up to three fourths of the, like where the ingredients are, and then we'll blend it. You can always add ice too. Ice will add a little more um, volume to it. I will but blend it. Yeah, we don't have ice. Let's get to blending. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Mm. What are you doing? Cheers. We don't know. You have to find out. It don't react. Don't you react? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh, it's so good. It's like healthy and good at the same time. Wow. Like you can taste the healthy. You know the kind where people are like, ooh, greens, and then you're like ooh sweet. That's good. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Leo. He's like, move it closer. <laughs> it is good. I like it as a salad more. Yeah, so you're, you're you can I eat think it I like salad. it as a smoothie more. Really? Yeah. Everybody has their thing, but I think the salad for me, it like fills it like a. You're hungry, that's why. Yeah, it feels more like a, a, like a meal. Yeah. Rather than a smoothie, but this is amazing too. But technically, the birds can have this too. All right, guys, so you heard from our biggest critic, George, <laughs> down that. So I know that this is good, and I'm really pleased. We have finished it. If you have something you'd like us to make, something that's your favorite food, let us know in the comments, and we'll do our best to accommodate you. Yeah, and let us know if you tried this, how you like it. Don't forget to come back and comment. Check out our previous episodes to see what else we've made. We have turned some regular chop into some really cool things and we've got a lot more to come. So stay tuned for next week. I'm really excited to be here with you guys. And thank you for watching Parrot Chop Chef. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.